how to set up and use Electrum Wallet. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can set up and use the Electrum Wallet. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first up, we're going to go ahead and search for Electrum. So when we search for Electrum, make sure you go over here onto this website called electrum.org. This is their main website. Don't go over onto any other website. Just simply come over to their main website. And once you're over here, this is how it's going to look like, right? So over here at the top, you're going to see the download button uh, over at the, you know, header and over at the bottom as well. So simply click on the button, whichever button you want, and then it's going to take you over here onto the download page where you just simply have to download the latest version so this is for the python sources so we don't want that we'll just simply use sources and binaries right so over here we have python linux windows and all of that so we're going to be choosing windows and we want the windows installer uh, you can have the portable version or standalone executable but we want the windows installer we're going to click on that and then we're just simply going to download the uh wallet and once it's downloaded we can go ahead and start installing it so it's pretty simple nothing too crazy all right so as you can see now it has been installed now what we'll do is we'll just simply open it up and install it sorry i said install it's downloaded now we'll install it okay so we'll just simply click on the yes button and then we can just simply choose where we want our Electrum wallet to be installed. C for now is fine, so we're gonna go ahead and install it in that. So right now it's installing, so once it's installed, we should be good to go. All right, so as you can see, it has been installed and now we'll just simply go ahead and close it. Now we're just simply gonna go ahead and search for it. Electrum right over here, run it as administrator all right so over here this is how you basically set it up right so we're going to keep it auto you can select you know manually but we're going to keep it auto it's going to find the best one for us if you want to go ahead and have like a manual control over it you can select manual and it'll, you'll have to you know manually select the server so i'm just simply going to click on auto connect and then you can go ahead and name your wallet and you can choose where you want your wallet to be stored so basically i'll keep it over here I'm going to create a new wallet and I'm going to say Electrum Wallet right here. I'm going to go ahead and select this folder and I'm going to open it up. Basically, I'll copy that and then over here you can go ahead and name the wallet as well. So I'm going to call it Electrum Wallet. This file does not exist, so it will be created for us. So we're going to go ahead and create this and we want the standard wallet, wallet with two-factor authentication, multi-signature wallet or import Bitcoin address or private key. So you can choose whichever one you want. If you want, if you want it with the two-factor authentication, you can choose that. But for now, I'm going to keep it at the standard wallet and I'm going to click on next. And over here, create a new seed. I already have a seed or use a master key. So uh, basically over here, if you already have like a previous wallet created or previous account, you can go ahead and select this button but i'm going to say create a new seed and click on next and over here your wallet is generate your wallet generation seed is over here so basically this is like a uh you know secret recovery phase that you, in order to you know log into your older account so make sure you keep this seed safe all right you can extend it with your own custom words as well if you want to but remember to always keep this handy and saved in like a, your own computer or phone, tablet, wherever, you know, keep it simple, keep it smart, keep it safe. This is the only way you're going to be able to log in to your wallet. So for now, I'm just simply going to click on next and we just simply paste the seeds over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a text document. And within this text document, I'm going to paste the seed. Okay, I didn't basically copy it. Let me go back copy it paste it here we go then i'll click on next i can't paste it over here so i guess i have to manually type the seed that i have it over here so just simply going to go ahead and do this and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so now i have copied and pasted the seeds i'll just simply click on next and then you just simply have to you know enter a password to you know protect your wallet so just simply create a password and you should be good to go.
then just simply click on next and you are good to go and then for securing you can go ahead and check this out for you know um updates and stuff like that so basically this is how you use it and set it up so next all that's left for you to do is just send or receive a different you know uh, cryptocurrency so you can add like a wallet address over here you can add the amount or the expiring date over here you can send and receive it you can receive it by over here if you want to send it just simply click over here now if you want to visit your wallet just simply click over here and click on wallet and this is going to be your address over here you're going to have your master public key over here you know your script type lightning node id and all of that are going to be available over here you have your address as well so over here you will have all of your addresses uh invoices requests fines private key seed passwords everything is going to be over here so it's pretty simple next if you want to go ahead and as i said before uh send a transaction you can go ahead and do that as well so over here we will have recently open you can open a new one you can create new one or restore or create a backup of your wallet everything is very simple nothing too crazy and also if you want to find out where your addresses are you simply click over here onto this view button and you will see show addresses so you click over here and you will see your addresses over here so these are your receiving addresses you can choose whichever address you want and you can go ahead and you know receive your address and over here you will have the type of address you have labels balance and all of that right it's pretty simple and as i said before if you want to you know send some money to or transfer your currency enter in the address over here of the wallet that you're trying to send your uh, bitcoin to then add like a description and add the amount and then you simply click on pay and then you will pay the amount same thing with receiving just simply enter in the description over here and then over here you will have a new address over here so basically this is going to be the your receiving address all right you just copy paste this you know address you know to someone and they can add this address and they will send it to you and over here you will have the requests addresses over here if you want a lightning you need to open up a lightning channels first if you want so this is a bitcoin address so over here you will receive the amount of bitcoin that you want have entered in the requested amount and it will expire within one day 10 minutes one hour one day or one week it all depends on you so currently it expires in 24 hours so you don't have to worry about that so it's pretty simple nothing too crazy then over here down below you will have your passwords preferences and your network as well so if you click on the network you will see all of the servers uh you know blockchain you know servers selected proxies all of that so everything is that's a little bit of technical issue but you know everything is very simple so over here you will have your themes and all of that you have your transactions lightning you will have your fiats you will have your open aliases you can add your own alias over here so that people can see your alias and know who you are and over here base unit is going to be btc mbtc bitsat or whatever i'm going to keep it at btc and then just simply close it so and then after you've made a change you just simply have to restart your electron wallet so pretty simple i think too crazy so pretty much that is it that's how you download install and set up an electrum wallet and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye